Hi YouTube, I am back with another pick a card. I um it seems brighter in here. Anyways, I've noticed in my um because I have another light now I got a better light. I noticed my videos they kind of change change light. It's so weird. It's I'm not sure if it's my camera or if it's the light here. It's different. Anyways, um, let's just keep going and see what we have. I did get a request, I think. I forgot to write it down, but I will um, get to one, to that one um, next. Well, that's like a weekend one because I think that's going to be a little bit longer. <laughs> so that's why I'm putting it off uh, for a couple days, but I'll get to it. Um, also... What else? Oh, donations. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Whoever donated. I, I don't have an email or anything to tell you that thank you. Um, thank you. But with the donations, I the last donation I got, I did buy, buy me another one of these because this one's worn out. Um, I love this deck. I connect with it a lot. And you can tell that it's all worn out. I've had it for maybe two or three years already. Anyways, this is my second deck deck with this one. Um, I used to connect with it a lot too. So I buy duplicates. I'm also going to probably put up some, some of my duplicates on my Etsy shop. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> So that's why I'm thinking about it. But I'm probably going to put duplicates in there to see if anybody wants to, you know, probably, um, of course, less than than what they are. Anyways, let's get started. I have four options here. I have the blue heart, yellow heart, red heart, and the bluish purplish heart. See, um, so go ahead and make your selection. The, we're going to look into your love lesson, what's to come or what to expect next. I'm going to pull some tarot. Um, we got some spirit messages too. So let's see what we get. Okay. So love lessons, blockages, spirit message, and what's next. <laughs> okay. So you can pause it if you need more time. Let's get started. Whoops. Alrighty. The blue heart. Let's see what we have here. I'll do the spirit message after. We have letting yourself go. Embrace your authenticity. Separation stage. Okay, so you're in separation with somebody. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling like you've gone through something already <laughs> through the dark. Um, I'm lifting you out of darkness to remember who you truly are. Birth a new you and a new life. I don't know if you have like gone through some kind of transformation. I am. You are getting out of some kind of dark period right now. I feel like you kind of let yourself go. Not kind of. You let yourself go in the last... Uh, relationship we do have it here okay so we have intimacy you're ready to explore new levels of intimacy that will allow you to form a deep passionate bond I feel like you did and during the separation if, you, if you've been in a separation I feel like somebody here has been in a long separation with someone or and um and I feel like you're coming into this place where you're going to be ready to to get into something, um, you know, to find that closeness with someone. You're getting out of this dark um, place. And I feel like this, place, this separation stage that we have here was more for you so you can find yourself. Because what was blocking you is that you were letting yourself go. Your independence, you were losing your independence, that sense of independence, you know, because, yeah, when we get into a relationship, we lose ourselves when we really want to be, you know, when we put someone else as a priority. So, um, 
It says, start the process of getting back parts of yourself and remember to be kind to yourself. So this is a blockage, okay? When you get into a relationship, so really not losing yourself, that sense of independence or feeling very comfortable or, or you know, putting that other person as a priority instead of you. Um, sometimes it could also affect us, our self-esteem, you know, our confidence, our vitality here. Let's see what spirit says. Embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. Okay. So I'm feeling that you either are going to find someone new or this person is going to come back in. If this is a twin flame kind of thing, because I'm feeling it for some reason. Um, so through each other, you'll find missing pieces, meaning both of you kind of mirror mirror one another um even if you're not with this person even if it's someone new you do mirror the person that you're on that same vibration as the person that you're with so uh, that's why how do i say it through each other you find the missing piece so you'll see yourself in that other person kind of if you really think about it Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're attracting somebody that almost has gone through the same thing as you, or you're attracting this other this person to come back into your life. It's hard to tell on a general reading, so we have only love will set you free, let go of the old, and allow new love into your life. So, allow, allowing you love into your life and letting go of the old that's why we have this emergence because it is something that you're needing to go through in order to birth a new you a new life yeah it's gonna be a new person <laughs> okay but your learning lesson your blockage here uh, was you clinging on clinging on losing yourself your independence um you know having that you know your priorities you know or maybe you're letting somebody else you know make you feel a certain way you should know who you are have that confidence and nobody can knock you down you know um the way they have you know like becoming stronger okay so what is coming what's coming for this pile of spirit lines what's coming for this pile so embracing your authenticity again embracing who you are having that confidence and not changing for someone and uh, you know putting yourself first too okay keep an open mind in your love life Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel like you're needing to go in, you know, and start dating. I feel like you'll be surprised who you actually end up with. <laughs> Let's see. Give me one more for this pile. What's next for this pile? That's too many. separation again hmm okay so i feel like this is almost it's kind of um recent um but you're going into this place where you're needing to forgive and learn from this learn about how to forgive someone um learning how to regain that independence back that confidence your self-esteem embracing who you are embracing who you're not you know like letting go of that person that you were before the person that you became when you were with that other your your last person your last relationship you know? because we all grow after a relationship let's see what's next we're keeping open mind 
keep an open mind. What is next for keep an open mind? Yep, it's someone new. Wants to spend time with you. You haven't met this person, but this person is going to want. If you go through this and you really do find yourself, you come out because spirit really wants you to, wants to lift you out of the darkness but you have to do your part as well you're gonna end up with somebody here somebody very different than what you are used to somebody um somebody that is knows what they want and won't confuse you either give me more of this separation i feel like it's new so this was really heavy for you. This separation, I feel like it's recent for most of you. I feel like it's recent. But I feel like once you cut this off, this burden, I feel like whatever you've gone through, it was really, really way too much for you. You're needing to cut it off. You're needing the Queen of Swords. is not gender specific, but the message is somebody here that um could be jaded but also has learned through those um, mistakes that they've done that they've made in relationships that has learned from what they want in a relationship what they don't want in a relationship how to speak their mind as well and cutting out whatever doesn't serve them and i feel like the separation is for you to cut that out to realize that you didn't need all that responsibility i feel like this is recent but it doesn't have to be give me more on this emperor yep i told you it's new <laughs> this emperor is going to the emperor brings the message of somebody that provides or knows what what they have what they take charge of situations they're very smart they're you know how do i say it very compassionate very giving very like they're the provider they're the ones that go after what they want this is someone way different they're gonna bring in stability into your life I feel like this person, whoever I'm reading here, if you chose this pilot and it is, um, it's resonating. I feel like you've gone through so much already that you're finally understanding what was blocking you, what you really want in a relationship. Give me more of this Queen of Swords. Yeah, right now I feel like you during the separation, you're probably saying that you don't even want this stress. You're saying, no, I don't want that stress anymore. I'm blocking myself out. I don't want this. And that's what happens when you don't want something is, is when you really get what you've been wanting <laughs> all along. Yep. So that is what I'm getting here. Wow. Eight of swords. The problem here is that you felt stuck here. The challenge is to get out of it if you're still here. But spirit is saying they're helping you. You have to do your part, though, in order to help you and um, give a birth of new you a new life. It'll bring you somebody here. Mm hmm. They'll help you be ready to explore new levels of intimacy that will allow you to form a deeper, passionate bond. And this is somebody that you both will probably also continue to heal together. I feel like this person, you're attracting somebody that has gone through something similar. Mm -hmm. So only love will sell, set you free. Let go of the old and allow the new love into your life okay so we have earth we have could be um earth sign a lot of air could be a libra fire um taurus aries and a lot of air wow yeah that is what i'm getting somebody here somebody 
your ex is still longing for you. That's why it's coming up twice. We have separation twice. Okay. But that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. Yellow. Okay. What do we have for the yellow? Spirit guides. Emotionally unavailable. Okay. Go beyond your fears. Balance love life with work. Okay. So right away I'm getting... You've either dated a lot of emotional, unavailable people or you've got your blockage here. I feel like it's somebody here that has dated a people that are just emotionally unavailable. It could be one or two, you know, but you always date the same kind. I don't know why I'm getting that. Okay, so maybe, or maybe you are, this is your blockage. Maybe you are an unavailable, but I am sensing that you've been most of all most of you okay so you've been through cycles here that's what i have here that's what i was um maybe it's time to do some soul searching maybe you are and you're trying to break the cycle we uh, have a new beginning here number one so go beyond your fears uh, maybe you are also not wanting to get into something yeah something anymore you're breaking the cycle because you've had so many tough relationships that you don't want to get into another one so you're kind of fearing you might even turn into this emotionally unavailable now mm -hmm. but you're one of your learning lessons that you're facing now is that you're needing to learn how to balance your love life with your work life as well we have fears again go beyond your fears here and then we have fears i'm soothing you while you let go of conscious and unconscious fears as you move forward yeah pain oh you have an extra message we have pain i'm releasing you from your self-imposed pain that has imprisoned you and perpetuated your suffering Wow, you've been through a lot in relationships. No wonder. I feel like you have gone to, through so much that now you're just fearing to get into another relationship. Mm -hmm. We have mind power. You have mastered your mind with the ability to transform and create through elevated thoughts. So I feel like now you're more of a more logical side. That's what I was feeling with the emotionally unavailable. That you've probably gone through so many, so many cycles that you're just done. And you're being more logical about this situation now. Now you're going to be more uh, wanting to learn how to balance love life with work. If you do decide on getting into another relationship. But I feel like you have, you're mastering the way that you're thinking. The You're mastering, how do I say, you're not going to give in to your emotions so much anymore. You're going to, you've, you're learning how to master and use your logical side a lot more than your emotional. That's interesting. I am sensing somebody here has gone through so much that they just don't want that pain anymore. Like I've, I'm sensing somebody really, really hurt like this i don't know how to explain it but your heart felt pain physical pain um whoa because i haven't gotten emotional in a long time in a reading and this one is emotional mm, yeah with the green here we have eternal Honor the place in each other where all is love. Honor the place in each other that is eternal. Okay. So you've probably been dating with a twin flame. Your passion ignites. Sorry, you guys. Oh, God. This pile has gotten me so emotional. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-mm. 
that's so strange i think i haven't had a reading like this in in a long time but i can feel somebody's emotions right now i don't know who but i don't know who i'm picking up anyways um let's just keep going <laughs> okay so let's see what's going on here what is um so you've probably been dealing with a twin flame okay so if you've been going through um cycles in and out okay i feel like right now you are just trying to heal because um that green is really standing out from every card here and i feel like both of you if you are dealing with the twin flame both of you are needing to really honor um each other honor the place in each other that is eternal like honor the memories you know they're still there honor that that love maybe right now you don't want to feel it because you've been so hurt by someone you're you've been hurt a lot so but you have to re you know um accept that you did love that person and you know because we can love from afar it, you know we can love from afar until we what we need to go through what we need to learn and um you know you never know what could happen in a year from now two years five years you just don't know okay mm -mm. you know what movie i'm i'm being reminded of right now and i usually i don't get movies here but i am getting um what is it called um the breakup the breakup that's what i'm getting that kind of energy with what's her name <laughs> jennifer aniston let's see give me more um what's to come here what is what do they need to know what's your message here for the spiral spirit lines Ooh. now this one was some um, yeah somebody here is also trying to you know get be focused with work like um finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now they could have been a they could have been a issue before as well between you and someone else but i feel like right now you're focused on planting seeds you're focused on work because we have it here twice um and you i feel like you're thinking a lot more logically right now passion okay bottom of the deck we have trust the trust is a challenge for you because there's a lot of fear here you don't want to feel that pain and i don't i don't blame you you don't want to feel that pain that you felt whoa that was um some strong um look up some if you're still feeling that or you feel some kind of numbness because of this pain and you're having a difficult time releasing it or not feeling um listen to some heart chakra um meditations um the meditations online there's all there's many the what is it called by Bin binarial i can't say it but i would okay Give me more of this finances and career. See, nine of wands. I feel you've been hurt a lot. I'm telling you, it keeps coming up. And you're probably not wanting to really deal with these because you're trying to put your focus on your energy, your time, your focus on work. Or maybe even trying to get a promotion or something like that. Or getting, you know, your level up in money or something. Give me more of this passion. Yeah, see? A lot of healing. A lot about thinking of, about this. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. But I feel like with this healing, you're needing to allow your heart to really feel feel 
and release that pain okay but allowing your heart opening up your heart chakra opening up your heart and not fearing love okay because i do sense somebody here is actually has become the person that they were dating or become the people that you were dating like the emotionally unavailable i sense somebody here is very specific it's not going to be for everybody but it's for somebody that needs to hear it okay give me more of this passion passion okay so the justice here is whatever was done wrong to you and i i know it was a karmic lesson it was a lesson for you even if you were dealing with a twin flame that's what it's all about anyway so bottom line twin flame is here any twin flame soulmates life partners whatever <laughs> They are here to teach you a lesson to, so you can learn something. And there, the justice is here to remind you, you know, the, the universe has your back. Whatever was done wrong to you will be, your all the wrongs will be righted. What's that quote? I forgot. But yeah, you know, um, they'll make things right for you. Give me more of this justice for this group, Spirit Guides. See, judgment. Give me more of this judgment. Maybe you needed to go to, through some kind of an awakening as well. But somebody here, your past wants to come. Make these things right. And it could be your twin flame. If it's not, if I'm talking to somebody that doesn't care about their twin flame right now, that's that's you. And it, you have every right. <laughs> um, because I understand that sometimes twin flames we're not going to be together in this lifetime there's twin flames like that so just in case you're wondering but this twin flame here that I, the one that i'm picking up on wants to come back and make things right okay but it's really up to you if you've gone through this healing if you release this pain really it's gonna be really hard for you because i do we have fear here twice um but spirit is saying allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay come out of this um hermit mode because somebody here does want to but i feel like you're gonna you're gonna block this most of you because you're more invested in your money, your time. You're being careful, too. They're going to come back, though. What's the challenge? The Six of Wands. Overcoming this obstacle. Overcoming the obstacles here. Okay? So, you'll get there. Okay? So, we have whoa, Scorpio, Air, Virgo, Libra, Earth, Fire. Mm. and that's it oh and leo so let's keep going i hope this helps somebody let's keep going here okay hi guys sorry i had to stop plus the last pile kind of made me cry i need to drink some water <laughs> okay um alrighty we have the other hmm okay so there could have been a lot of infidelity um here your part or theirs here but ugh, not starting out right so there could have been a blockage here somebody being unfaithful or maybe you're dealing with a lot of people. I mean, a lot of a cycle here, meeting the same person, different body, you know, like the same kind of person could have been too, going through cycles, you know, but, and you're probably not, I'm also picking up on somebody here that's asking themselves, why does this always happen to me? Um, that's probably because there's something here to learn, learn within you because yeah, it's not your fault. I don't want to say it's, you're attracting it. No, it's the 
it's the cycle are we learning the lesson in that and if you're not if you're going through a cycle and you jump into somebody into another relationship without really understanding or learning healing from the last person then um you know you kind of have to go through that until you learn i don't know why i'm getting that food Just anyways because we have infidelity i don't want to blame it all on you okay maybe you you've your blockage here was that somebody here was being unfaithful in the last relationship you were in um but again feel enough within you interesting because i don't even look at these because i'm afraid i'll lose my messages um but i've been fasting that's why i'm probably <laughs> in tune so we have choose being loved over being right. Okay, so we have a couple messages here regarding your lessons in love and blockages. Maybe there was some also some ego, some pride. I'm also sensing stubbornness, your way or nothing or no way at all kind of thing. Or maybe them. But remember, it takes two to tangle. It's more of like your, ref your um, how do I say it? you're on the same vibration you do attract somebody that is also needing to learn almost the same lessons as you or probably different but you know i don't know how to explain it but reversed or something like that you're kind of attracting this these people in because they have something to learn and you also have something to learn so maybe i do sense a uh, pride ego and stubbornness here because you're choosing to have the upper hand. Somebody here is choosing to have the upper hand. <laughs> Instead of, you know, letting your emotions just flow. Okay. And you're probably, this person also with their infidelity. Or maybe this person made you feel like there was others. Um, or chose others. Uh, others were interfering could be anything here because um this only says one but i'm sensing more because it is general it could also be you know other people they cared about what other people said other things or they put other situations or people before you but that's because there wasn't um that was more because you needed to feel enough within yourself. Like saying, okay, well, if you're choosing that, that's fine. You know, be willing to walk away because you're good on your own. You know, but you're needing to feel that. Maybe that is one of your um, lessons here. Okay, so this is a little bit very direct. So please don't take offense. Um, we have trauma. I'm here to protect you while you move through abusive patterns and traumatic experiences. So you have been going through some traumatic experiences, you know. Oh, I didn't even know we had this card in here. <laughs> this is, um, maybe somebody did, you know, make you feel like you weren't enough. They always chose other people before you. They could have been unfaithful but there was probably pride ego here stubbornness we have spirituality i'm accelerating your spiritual growth while awakening new ideas in a dance of co-creation so spirit is saying here that you're you're needing to you know look towards your soul's purpose into your spiritual path you may be learning about spirituality maybe you are healers maybe this is something that is pushing you into something about learning about yourself um it could be anything it be it could be just learning about spirituality and co-creating getting into something that you really enjoy getting pushing you into something that your passions your soul purpose that's the kind of thing here that is meant for you i think i feel like spirit is really telling you go into that direction do something you love something that helps you grow you have been pushed into an awakening you know to have this awakening within yourself because i feel like you were going through these cycles or you are going through these cycles without even learning 
what you really need to and mm, and spirit is protecting you from the ones that you're going to regret being with oh i don't know whose energy this is <laughs> There is so many messages, so just take what feels like it res uh, what feels re resonating, okay? So we have mystery. All will be revealed in good time. Allow the mystery to unfold. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay? So allow nature to take its course. Don't rush. Okay? Don't rush and get into another relationship. Okay? let's let it unfold let things reveal each reveal in good timing believe me i i'm so glad i did not stay with my first relationship you know my first at 18 years old which i thought i was in love but it wasn't believe me i probably would have never pursued my career um probably wouldn't be on youtube either mm, this i don't i don't i'm not saying this is my career i i don't okay so but yeah that's what i'm getting here okay so i feel like spirit is really protecting you here because you've probably gone through some trauma whatever you've gone through i'm also sensing that somebody here oh i don't know why who i'm picking up but somebody here actually wanted the upper hand so much that they kind of um caused these this mental abuse too i don't know who that is i don't like to pick up these energies um but just know that you're being protected okay because i'm also sending someone here that could have ended up with someone here that was unfaithful and five years from from now you would have wasted five years with this person not wasted because there's always a learning lesson but um they're protecting you okay something here is being denied to you because you're needing to look feel enough be confident find your independence and being pushed into your soul's purpose into new ideas and co-creating mm -hmm. whoa this brought me back to i was 18 <laughs> almost 20 years ago that's a long time never mind pretend i didn't ever i didn't say that anyways let's see what's next here what is what do we have here children there could have been children involved but i do sense this is my card of um you were loyal to this person you were loyal to this person they weren't i feel like this person really had a hold on you mm-hmm they really had a hold on you if it wasn't this person it could have been someone else but you always were the loyal one okay your love life is being affected by children there could have been of course children um sometimes i have to pick up on the title as well but if you've been following me for a couple of years um you know that i don't go just by the title so let go of control issues. Allow the situations to unfold naturally. Again, we have it twice. All will be revealed in good time. Allow the mystery to unfold. Okay. So let go of control issues. Let go of needing to know how it's going to end up. Because when you really think about it, if you end up with somebody that you really want, what's next? you know so enjoy this time right now enjoy it heal heal from any is something that you're <clears throat> maybe learning how to feel enough within you learning more about your soul's purpose what you're needing to co-create right now what you're needing to put your energy in um and learning how to argue healthy 
because like I said there's no I don't know if I said that or if just I just thought it thought about it because there's no um no perfect relationship here okay let's see give me more of this children okay so maybe you were dealing with somebody that was immature inconsistent there was a lot of passion a lot of lust yep and there could have been children too involved yeah, but it caused a lot of hurt um or somebody that was immature give me more of this it caused a lot of hurt a lot of hurt a lot of stress a lot of uh, disillusions nightmares sleepless nights give me more of this let go of control issues let go of control issues okay because something here is wanting to start all over let go of control issues the ten of pentacles the high priestess maybe you're needing to really um follow your intuition you're needing to go towards something here that's gonna bring a windfall of money or bring in stability, security. Once you let go of control issues, you cut off anything that doesn't serve you and just let allow the universe do its job and have faith, trust in, in your intuition. Here, some of you are healers too, I'm getting. Um, but once you let go of that... There is stability. There is a new beginning here. Things are going to clear out. The clouds are re really standing out. Okay. Yeah, because we're going from the 910 source to the ace here. But you're needing to let go of it. And you'll soon know why. You'll soon know why. There, is, You could be meeting a new air sign, maybe. Or... Um, Taurus Cancer or Earth Sign Fire. Let's see. <clears throat> Give me more on this Ten of Pentacles. Actually, let me do this other. Give me clarify this other. Why is the the other here? There could have been a divorce here. Okay. Okay, there's divorce or you cut it off because there was someone else or something else that came in between you two. Someone here is jaded. What the emperor? What? I think the first pile got this combination. There was stubbornness here. There was harsh words maybe as well with the Queen of Swords. Give me more of this. But things are going to turn around. Look at what just popped out. Things could be turning around. But you're needing to really have patience. Find your strength. Find your courage to wait it out. You're needing to also feel enough. You know, um, get your independence back. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that is what I have. Not allowing anything less than what you deserve as well with the Queen of Swords here. So we have Sag. It could be a Libra, Taurus, mm, Aries, Leo. Um, and I said these already. Okay, so that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching. And let's move forward. okay okay the bluish purple heart let's see what we have what spirit says here we have threats of competition mm -mm. set healthy boundaries step into new territories of love Ooh, you have 11 and 88 double numbers you might be a healer we have i want you to know you have the power to heal yourself 
and others through your own magic. You could be a healer or you're just healing right now. But hmm, you're probably just healing right now because we have forgiveness. Um, I want to remind you to let go of any lingering anger or resentment as you explore the truth. So really forgiving, letting go of that anger, resentment. Mm -hmm. And seeing for what things were too. Um, forgiving yourself for not, you know, setting healthy boundaries. That could be your lessons, your blockage. Your blockages could also be, you know, learning how to forgive and let go. Um, in your last relationship or one of your relationships that has probably caused a lot of hurt was someone here was making you feel like there was threats of competition. You know, there was others. There was um, maybe you needed to compete for somebody's time, for somebody's attention or compete um, against other options. Mm, I don't like that. Okay. Um, I don't like it because I've been there a couple years ago. Years ago. <laughs> and that was not. Mm -mm. And it does cause a lot of pain. A lot of. Mm, how do I say it? It causes uh, trauma too. Mm-hmm. So you're also learning how to set healthy boundaries, okay? Step into the new territories of love. Like, you're needing to also realize that, you know, forgive what's happened already and just step into open up to love. Open up to love, not just in love, but love to others, love loving people. Don't close yourself up, okay? Speak your truth. Oh, we have what explore the truth speak your truth be authentic be genuine be true to yourself as well mm -hmm. realize that there was not some maybe there wasn't uh, some healthy boundaries there and realize that you're needing to work on that or maybe you are already and that's good we have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Yeah, when it comes to matters of the heart, you know, that's why I said accept what's happened already, okay? Because there wasn't no right or wrong. There wasn't. You couldn't have done things wrong. You couldn't have done things right. It was just never would have worked out the way that you that it worked out the way that was meant to work out at the time so there was no right or wrong here that's why you're needing to let go of that resentment that anger okay i'm gonna have to put trigger warnings <laughs> mm. let's see let's see what is Spirit wanting, wanting you to know what's next. What, what do we have for this pile of spirit guides? Passion. Yep. This is um almost the same energy I had for number twos, but number twos made me cry. I don't know whose energy I was picking up on, but yes. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Don't close yourself up. Okay. Forget about this picture because what I'm feeling is not what this is showing. The passion. It's telling you what spirit really wants you to know is to open your heart. Don't close yourself up. Explore territories. New territories of love. You know, loving people. Loving what you do, what you love. Actions, everything, you know. Um, but don't close yourself up and don't let this resentment or whatever has happened, this anger, um, close you up to in love, you know, close your heart, heal. And I feel like you are though. We have the healer card. 
you know you're you can um heal oh we have passion and chemistry okay so there could be some kind of somebody here coming in i do feel that it's new for some of you but let's see i feel a lot of you are probably fire signs i don't know let's see what is this passion i saw leo twice already <laughs> so what is this passion yep somebody's coming in and it's gonna feel like one of your blockages before it escapes my mind right now one of your blockages could also have been you comparing yourself to others mm -hmm. okay that's why we have the threats of competition maybe you were you're comparing yourself to others and mm, okay so try not to do that because everybody has their own unique beauty or you know everybody is unique nobody is the same okay so stop worrying about it because if you keep putting that into your relationships you know it's gonna be very difficult for you okay so it says allow yourself to share your insecurities with your partner it can be the beginning of a happier life so if you really understand if your partner really understands what triggers you what sets you off you know that will that would help too okay so we have death card we have taurus and scorpio here which we have um k2 and rahu there right now so there could be some kind of um changes coming somebody that's gonna come in and change your life your environment yeah once you learn you heal from this you're true to yourself and what you really want and let go of what you need to let go there is big changes coming okay there's going to be a lot more stability more security maybe even meeting somebody that is going to bring that in somebody that is serious more practical more um grounded chemistry this is five of wands with chemistry there's going to be a lot of passion between you two to the point what there is a lot of passion there's going to be a lot of passion between you two but because of the passion chemistry the attraction okay i do sense healing something too you're probably going to try to fight this because i did sense that somebody here is also closing up to this you might be wanting to fight this and that's because you know you don't want to go through the same thing why is this star here but this could be somebody that can help you heal and let go see it's new with the fool it's a new but we have the unknown card this deck has an unknown card meaning things are still up in the air you don't know you could have a future with this person but it's it, it will be in the beginning stages but in the beginning, you both are going to be like magnets here. They're going to seem like it's somebody. Um, well, they're going to come in with stability, security. They're going to have a job, a car, place, whatever. But I do feel that there's going to be a lot of passion. But it's I'm sensing someone not really wanting to have faith. And Spirit is telling you have faith because you never know. It holds a future here. To me, the unknown card could be, you know things are still up in the air but with these two together i'm getting the influence of a future she's holding a crystal ball okay so listen to your half faith listen to your intuition in divine timing things just let things be right now 
with the flow of things. Mm -hmm. This is coming in. It's going to change your world. Mm -hmm. So the challenge right now is to heal. And we do have that. Heal. Let go of this resentment. Maybe you're doing that already. That's what I was sensing too. Okay, let's see. Was there anything that was not clear? Um, give me more of this. Step into new territories of love. Yep. Two of Wands is explore. Go out there. Maybe travel. But explore your options. Go out there and experience, um, experience new things. New things in love. Mm -hmm. Open yourself up. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So we do have fire, air. <sighs> See? Five of Cups. Disappointments in the past. Okay. So we have Earth. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, fire signs. Okay. I see fire here. Yep. That is all. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back later. Take care of you. Mm, bye.